Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to power your 110 volt, 60 hertz uh, hair clipper outside of the USA, hence in the UK, uh, anywhere in Europe, Brazil, Australia. All these places have a voltage of 220 volts with 50 hertz. Now, when even though you may purchase one of these, which is you know a, pretty much a conventional transformer. These transformers do take the voltage down from 240, 220 to 110, which is required to power the US hair clipper. However, the frequency will remain at 50 hertz, and this clipper requires 60 hertz. So just to demonstrate what I mean, I'll just put this transformer into a UK power supply, which is 240 volts. I'll plug the clipper in. I'll pre-warn you this is going to make a terrible noise and this is exactly the same thing that you'll experience if you use a traditional transformer. So even though it's not recommended, I'll sh I'm going to show you a way that you can quieten the clipper and uh, continue using the traditional transformer which is 220 volts to 50 uh, hertz. Like I said to you, it's not recommended. Should anything go wrong with your clippers, it would make your uh, warranty or guarantee null and void. But I'm going to show you nonetheless. So first you need a Phillips screwdriver. What we're going to start off by doing is taking off the belly of the clipper. So that on the wall senior, that consists of three screws. So we take that's one. Two. Three. We take this belly off. Now, just to show you where this noise is actually coming from, this running here around this uh, coil, this is what they call the clipper arm. And what happens, the clipper arm uh, vibrates, which causes the blades to vibrate and actually cut the hair. Now, because it's 50 hertz instead of 60 hertz, these uh, arms are moving much slower than they should and as a result they bang one another so that's where that terrible noise is coming from these two plates here are banging so how we need to counter that we need to have something in here to dampen the noise now how you dampen the noise you'd use uh, some sponge typically that of what you use to wash dishes but without the scouring uh, element to it you need to peel that off the top now how I actually do it I would cut half a centimeter from the top so that gives me a block like that and from this block you basically want to cut it about the same size as french fries so again about another half a cent in actual fact they look like a, a, a french fry so if we have two of these get rid of the rubbish now like I said what I would do is maybe cut your french fry to about three centimeters that's the recommended thing and now you'll see here I'm going to stuff the sponge in between the top part first so and to do this you need a flathead screwdriver as quite a sharp flathead screwdriver please ensure that the power is switched off when you do this and then you just uh, poke that in there this is the top part. So as you see there, where I've done is just basically been poking that into the vertical part. Now I'm going to poke into the vertical part that's closer to the coil in exactly the same manner. Yeah. So I get that there. As you'll see, that's going to act like a damper. Again, not recommended, but whilst the clipper is open, I'm going to 
repower the machine and you'll see that this will be significantly quieter there you go yeah but again this is something that you have to fine tune because this these blades do not always operate as good as they should by doing this so sometimes you have to add a little sponge um, sometimes you have to subtract some sponge so basically that's it that's how you quieten your sponge obviously or your blades lubricate your blades take your power out um, I will put a list of all the tools and all the things that you need in order to achieve this uh, in the description below um, like I said this is not a way I would actually recommend you uh, quietening your US clippers when abroad um, what I would recommend is a fantastic product called the frequency 60 Hertz converter which basically without stuffing you, with this product you do not need to stuff your clippers or do anything that's going to make your warranty void okay so if opening up your US 110 volt hair clippers and stuffing them with sponge um, and making your vor warranty void is not your idea of fun or professionalism and is not the route that you wish to take then you would need to purchase something like this which is a frequency 60 Hertz voltage converter which not only converts the voltage it also converts the frequency as well so the voltage will be converted to 110 from 220 or 240 and the frequency would be converted to 60 Hertz as a result when you do plug your 110 volt US clipper inside of the uh, frequency 60 Hertz converter and you turn them on you're going to get a normal operational noise that you would expect to get from your hair clipper plus you'll get the performance that you uh, require that's what happens when you use the voltage uh, the frequency 60 Hertz converter now if we went back to the old way uh, using a traditional 220 to 110 volt 45 watt 50 Hertz uh, transformer we're going to get the same old horrible result we did before which is even try and use one of these uh, 220 to 110 volt converters which is a lot bigger and looks a lot more advanced than the little one so the conclusion is if you want smooth operational usage of your American clippers anywhere in the world you need a frequency 60 Hertz converter if stuffing your clipper with sponges and open them is not your thing which I wouldn't recommend then this is the way to go